It's an unusual thing when you show up for swim practice and the team isn't in the pool, but out on the track instead. Just something Bemidji Girls swim and dive head coach Woody Leindacker does to, quote, keep things fresh. But it sort of makes you wonder, what other training techniques do they have up their sleeves? Or rather, under their swim caps. When you walk into the Bemidji High School pool, you might see something interesting hanging in the coach's office. Radio headsets not something typically associated with aquatics. There's a time and place to use them. What I like about them is if there's, if there's something going on that you, that you see in practice, you can communicate that right away, right on the fly. They work like if he needs to tell us like pointers or something, then it's easy for him just to say it into our ears. But constructive feedback isn't the only thing they hear through the headsets. I can pipe music in to break up the monotony of following the black line. And yeah. I personally am not a huge fan of Woody's music taste, and he doesn't really like to put our music taste like on connect it to the headsets. But I think sometimes when it's a when it is a good song and it's a headset, I do tend to feel myself like pick it up a little bit more. Something they're also using that is typically associated with aquatics are snorkels, albeit not usually in the swimming pool. Well, that's just. You know, so you don't have to worry about your body position and breathing, where you can just work on keeping your body position with your head and you're keeping your hips up and that type of thing. So it's the first year I've ever used a snorkel. You have to flip turn and then blow the water out. I've choked on water a few times. <laughs> I have. I've had to come up and, like, cough super hard, but I really like them. Even with all the different techniques and tools the team is using to improve, Coach Leindecker admits there's one thing no amount of training can give you. Experience is huge because you can't coach experience, you either have it or you don't. And we're excited because we're returning all of our points that we scored and we're not graduating any points. And not a lot of teams in our section can say that. Bemidji finished last in Section 82A last year, a departure from their Section 8A dominance in the early to mid-2010s where they won six section titles. But the Lumberjacks are confident they're headed in the right direction ahead of the season's first meet. Compared to the past years, we've been just trying new things and doing a lot of time trials, and I feel like this meet will, will do better than we do typically. We're in a tough section right now. We're in bigger schools than Bemidji. So I feel like if one of us made it to stay in this section, that'd be really cool. The first meet of the year will be a big one for Bemidji Girls Swim and Dive and for Brainerd as well. Rival Brainerd is hosting the meet next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.